Hello my friends and welcome to another episode of the Chess of Obscurity Coming to May Edition. This time we're going to actually look at a game in which I had quite some time and I waited a good time to actually show this off. So without further ado, this game is brought to us by EA Yukitel Products and cheats will be in play. So, here we go. This is Gunim, Martian Memory. You know it better as Battle Angel Arita. And this is a full English translation, which was um, done last year, March 31st. So give me two seconds here. Here we go. So yeah, it, it's kind of soft, but <clears throat> as you can tell, We don't want it to go too fast, but we don't want it to be too slow either. Oh yes, by the way, it's also done by Bam Presto. You know, the people behind SRW and Dragon Ball Z and other fine products like that. So... My memory card is loaded, so, um, it's kind of weird to actually start off a game on the load menu, and, um, I have no data on this game whatsoever. I don't know. We're going to get through this together. <clears throat> I never watched the live action. I prefer the enemy myself. <laughs> Why'd you pick this thing up, Ido? What do you mean, thing? She's a genuine human being. It was a combination of random conditions that protected the brain 
She's in some sort of hibernation. She's awake! Hey there, how are you feeling? My name's Ido. I'm a cyber ph physician. Don't worry, there's nothing to be afraid of. I'm Gonzo. What's your name? That's too bad, Ido. She's lost her memory. The brain itself is not defective. It'll come back to her eventually. Eventually, you say? You don't mean you're going to fix her up? I do. <laughs> I'll have to restore the body first. You'll raise something. Don't you ever. Yeah, well, before you say anything else, uh, she's going to need a name. Which should I use? Ah, I've got it. Starting today, your name is Gally. Her actual name is, her actual name is Gally. Her dumb name is Alita, but her actual name is Gally. Gally. Isn't that the name of your cat that died last month? It doesn't matter. It's just a temporary fix until this girl remembers her own name. That's it. Okay, now try and move them. Got it. How is it? Is it all right? Good. They're beautiful. It feels good to finally move around again. Thank you, Ido. Now that's a big surprise. That looks wonderful on you. Mr. Gonzo, there you are. Look, I have beautiful hems. That's wonderful, Gally. Take good care of them. That must have been very expensive, wasn't it? Aren't you overdoing yourself a bit, I know. <laughs> what do you mean, Gonzo? I found them at the junkyard. Besides, what's most important is they're in good working order. Wouldn't you think so? All right. Anyhow, maybe you should go and look around the shop for a bit. It'll help co calibrate with your body. Well, before you go, I need to talk to you about that room first. I remodeled an empty room on the second floor of this repair shop, right in front of my office, so that you can have your own room. I want, to use, I want you to use it as you please. And I've got a bed for you. When you feel tired and weak, you can take a rest in that bed. You can rest by pressing the circle button while facing the bed. Once you have some rest, your energy will be fully restored. And I also left a journal on a desk in your room. This is to save a transcript of your progress. If you go to the journal and press the circle button, the save screen will appear. And then follow the instructions on the screen and complete the required steps and you will be able to save your data because I am breaking the fourth wall. There are two desks set up in your room but it'll be on the one farthest from the door. Just don't confuse the two. Did you get that? Would you like me to repeat it again? No. <laughs> well, you can go now but please remember don't leave the area just yet. You're like a newborn baby. If something's wrong with your body, come back to me right away. Yes, sir. We're going by anime rules, damn it. My children's been acting up lately. Apparently it's caused by mental fatigue. So I'm getting Dr. Ido to replace him. That's what I like about having a cyborg body. As long as you don't die and your brain isn't destroyed, even while severely injured, 
So I'm in such a like, I know, can fix you up, then you're cured. It's all thanks to that game. Way more cyborgs now than flesh and blood than and your brain and heart. Are you a full cyborg yourself?
station here. Have you been to the roof yet? You can see Tafaris, very nice here from right there. What's Tafaris? Oh, be damned. You don't even know what Tafaris is? Tafaris is the area of the city. It flows over the scrapyard. You can see it from the roof of the repair shop. You should just take a look for yourself. But then again, Tafaris is a mystery. Knows when or why it was built, or what kind of people live there, or anything like that. From what I heard, it has been floating in the skies since before the scrap here was made, just like it is now. Although nobody knows for sure if these rumors are really true. For some reason, the scrap yard doesn't have any records of the past. Anyway, I guess it's better to see for yourself. Sometimes I'm allowed to go up to look at the forest. You know what fun these parts aren't you? Did you come all this way for a checkup from some place? Well, you made the right choice. Dr. I doesn't know as a skilled cyber physician. Meets walking in some crazy planet, seeing a black market physician. What's a black market physician? There are lots of people who say they are cyber physicians, but there's also bad guys who forcibly replace parts even if the injury is only a scratch or perform a cyborg operation on a healthy individual and then charge a lot of money. Black market physicians are the most vicious group of them all. They roam the streets in surgical gowns, find injured people, and take them off the streets, forcibly perform cyber surgery on them without their consent. Get treated by people like that, you'll have to pay absorbent amount of absorbent surgery fees. That's a terrible thing, don't you think? You better watch out for them, too. There are so many types of cyber physicians out there. But with Dr. Ido, I feel comfortable with safety security. What is it, Gabby? Ah, I take it you're wondering about my collection room in the basement. <laughs> All those things are made up of recycled parts that I gathered from the junkyard and put them together using only what I could reuse, so Mr. Guns was right when he called them nothing but junk. Uh, the back of my collection room. Uh, I'll show it to you someday when I get the chance. <laughs>
the floating thing above us is an aerial city called Tifaris. It's your first time seeing it, isn't it? Coincidentally, the mountain below it is called Mount Tifaris. Said that the waste was dumped regularly on the ground, and that it was gradually accumulated into a mountain which created Mount Tifaris. The place where we live is called the Scrapyard. It's formed like a donut shape surrounding Mount Tifaris Mountain. Mountain, Mountain. Well, I suppose you would find out about that as your life goes on. You need to be careful, though. The Scrapyard is not the safest place to be. I mean, that's why I keep telling you to stay near here as much as possible for your own safety. So when you do go out, avoid walking into dangerous surroundings. I can't help but wonder what kind of life you had before losing your nerve.
Oh, there we go. Hey, Gaddy! It's getting dark out. Why don't you go out tomorrow? I know you're excited to finally be able to move around again, but you don't need to rush into things. You should get used to scrapyard gradually. Instead, you should avoid going out at night and stay inside at all costs. Like I explained to you on the rooftop, it's not safe out here, you know. The area around our repair shop has been getting more and more dangerous lately. You don't want anything to happen to you now, do you? Come on, why don't we go back inside and have some dinner? You've been moving around all day, so you must be hungry by now, right? at noise, especially this late at night. It sounded like it was coming from the hallway by Ido's room. Is everything all right, Ido? Huh? And as you can see, he's not here. Ido's not here. Where did he go? Well, he might be on the first floor. Uh-huh. Gunza! Are you okay? What's wrong? Uh, Gally, I, I, I don't... I can't do it anymore. You're not making any sense. Hold on, Mr. Gonza. I can't. I can't. I, I can't drink anymore. <gasps> hmm? It seems like he drank way too much alcohol. <clears throat> what should I do, Mr. Gonza? He's falling asleep on the floor. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Guns is suddenly showed up in the middle of the night, then collapsed at the entrance hallway. That's unbelievable. Now I understand why you were so worried, Gally. It's not funny, I don't. 
I had a horrible night. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just I never expected anything like this to happen around here. You must have been pretty tired yesterday. And I bet you fell asleep really fast, right? Mm. So, anyway, what are you doing today, Gally? I had to stop you yesterday because it was getting dark, but now might be a good time to explore the streets, actually. To reach the streets, just leave the repair shop. Then go straight ahead until the screen changes to the world map. Because I can break the fourth wall, because why not? In the world map, you see two red flickering dots. One of them should say repair shop on it. That's where you are now. When you move the cursor on the world map, the repair shop font will disappear. And street will appear instead. And press the circle button to go to the next location. Just remember, the area is dangerous, so please be careful, okay? I'd go with you if I could, but uh, I've got a patient waiting to see me, so... I can take care of myself, don't you? Think you're worrying a little too much, Ida. <laughs> you think so? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Hmm? Ida, what happened to your hand? Are you hurt? Uh, oh, you, you mean this? Uh, well, uh, I might have gotten a little carried away and scratched myself earlier, I guess. <laughs> he must have hurt himself when he was out, when he went out last night. Ida, what are you hiding from me? This wound's no this wound's no big deal. It's nothing. Are you sure? Okay, I'll be going then. That is why I like to make sure that you don't gain farther than you should. I got a little too worked in last night. Sorry about that. I just can't remember anything about last night. Anyway, are you heading out now? It's always a good idea to head back home before night. I heard that there's been a series of murders talking. Maybe that. go to the street, like so. so you're walking around with a curious look on your face. You're new to the scrap here, aren't you? You're from out of town, aren't you? So uh, you like the scrap here so far. What's the scrap here like? Uh, let me give you a quick rundown of Scrapyard as a welcome to the city. Here in Scrapyard, the main industries in the raw materials being processed and refining, delivered, being delivered from outside the company and the complex directly operated by Tifar. And bringing it to Tifar. As you can see, most of the large buildings in this area are complexes managed by Tifar. We're living, well, we're being kept alive in the gas machine. Well, so... I heard that being a factory worker is a pretty stable occupation. That's why people flog after those times. The person who did the business gets the factory workers gathered and the criminal who wants to prey on them further gather said that this scrapyard was formed in this way. People come from all walks of life. From all over the country. So it's not this. Crime is so rampant on a daily basis that no one cares if people are dying on the street. Yeah, that's California for you right there. How's that possible? I can't be bothered by other people, except of course, but like minor doctors and 
illegitimate parts brokers who use other people's debts as a sort of thing. You understand, you have to be especially careful when you are a novice like me. You have to keep in mind that you might get scrappy. It's quite different from that of the countryside. If you're not careful, you might find yourself in a bloody bag. Nothing but unnatural contraptions with people living between scrap and machinery. The series east of Scrapyard. Large buildings around are all complexes managed by defunds. Well, even a town like this can be a home away from home. But be very careful because it's not very safe. Especially after dark. All sorts of criminals start prowling the area. Where on streets is that the murderer who targets only women has been appearing every night recently as well. You better not find yourself in a dark alley with those expensive looking cars. Hey, you! That arm! Where the hell did you get that? What's wrong with my arm? How could you? I can't, I can't believe this girl a serial killer. That arm's the one that my dead friend was wearing. God. A girl I used to work with just recently got caught up in a series of murders. They tore the body to pieces and stole all the parts for it. It's been long since she was killed, but you, who was wearing her arm, started talking to me out of the blue. I thought the killer was trying to kill me, too. That's right, you found an arm at a demolition shop. It's funny how quickly the parts were on the market when the murder was only a few days ago. Did you really find this in the demolition shop? Things look custom made, so they must be very expensive, right? Well, be as careful as you can when walking down the street. Serial killer seems to be based in the eastern part of the city. If you walk around here with those fancy parts on, you'll be the first one who will come after you, you know. It's like walking around with a sign that says, Please kill me! <laughs> see such good parts even in illegal part shops. Not no way you can buy those fancy parts at your local demolition shop. You didn't get them through the proper channels, did you? <laughs> Where's some nice body parts, Jackie? No doubt about it. I don't think I've ever seen parts like these in, a in this junk town before. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't get them through the proper channels, but I won't bother you about details. Legal parts. That's our usual life. What's an illegal part? Hey, 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 what are you talking about? By illegal parts, I mean cyborg parts obtained through robbery or murder. In the scrap, you can take a part of a dead cyborg on the side of the road, just like you can take it, a part of a discarded body. Only the parts obtained through a crime are considered illegal. But it's almost impossible to prove a crime for the parts, so don't you worry about it. So, that arm. 
How much you want to sell it for? I'm not here to sell the arm that I don't got for me. No? Well, I'm here to buy some custom cyborg parts. All the custom parts that Orichi carries are made by the Big Hill Corporation. We pride ourselves on having a pretty impressive selection of parts. What do you want? I don't need any. I'm happy with my current body. Oh, you're just being cold. Then you're just blocking my business. Get out of here! Well, you decide to sell your arm. Come talk to Orichi. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> hey, little girl. Oh, my. Why are you so pricey looking arms, aren't you? How about you trade the arms for mine? <laughs> walk into a back alley with something like that on or else that would be surprised or something word at me. Yeah, recently that there's been another murder case. Scrapyard wasn't always safe space to be with all kinds of people living here after all.
It's ugly town made up of nothing. It's an ugly town made up of nothing but unnatural contraptions with people living between scrap and machine. Whoa, little miss, I wouldn't go any further if I were you. There's been a series of murders down the road that would target women. Just the other day, a good-looking girl with a golden body was slaughtered. The story goes that they never found the parts of the limbs that were torn off. Take my advice, stay out of this area. I want to get in some action. There we go. Welcome, we got. Welcome back, out of here. It was getting dark, so I was starting to get worried. So I was your first visit to the streets. Did anything interesting happen? Um, I don't have about these arms. What is it? Something wrong with it? Uh, never mind. It's nothing. I know. It looks like he's going out again tonight. But where's he going? Ido's hiding something from me. He has another side hit he won't show me. What could it be? Like I heard on the streets, there's a link between this body he gave me and the serial killings. I... I want to know the truth. It's done by the same, um... The same person who who was behind. It's like Kentaro, Kentaro Miura de Berserk. Yukino was um was the person behind Gunim or or um battle. Battle Angel Alita. Dead body. She's still warm. She was killed not long ago. There's no sign of the culprit. No way. The series had like um twelve volumes. You... I know everything. My arms and legs are parts you stole from people after you killed them, aren't they? What? Please stop killing people for my sake. What are you? I know! Damn it! 
Callie, get out of here. The serial killers. This woman. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Just checking you. I'm not letting her kill Ido. Oh, finally, we get into battle. That's how battle works in this game. G golly! Uh -huh. I, I did that unconsciously. A technique in ancient Martian martial art called Panzerkunst. That's her weapon, of course. Killer was a mutant woman. Apparently, she was indiscriminately killing women who wore body parts prettier than her own. That's what the person in charge said when I went to the factory to get the reward money. I'm sorry for the confusion. I thought I know was the one who did it. No, I'm the one who's sorry for not telling you. It's kind of hard to tell that I am a hunter. Also, your body was the one that the victim of the murder wore and was sold by the factory, which made it even harder to say. I didn't know I know did such a dangerous job in addition to his work in the repair shop. Yeah, there used to be a police force that cracked down on crime. In Scrapyard, the factory puts the reward on criminals and hunter warriors like me go after the bounty. All right, we're done. I don't. But can I be a hunter warrior? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a hunter warrior too. She wants to be Mega Man. <laughs> Nonsense! I didn't dig you out from under the rubble to. Get you to do that. Because... It's my dream to make you more and more beautiful. I won't allow it. I don't want you to be a hunter. Because I can't stand to see Ida doing dangerous work for me. You don't know what you're talking about. Just how dirty a bounty hunter can be. Golly, I would be happy to behead any guilty person for you. And I would gladly give blood in return. But I want you to stay true to your dream. I want you to stay true to my dreams. I'm not a dress up doll for you, Ido. Gotti! <coughs> Shit. Oh, fuck. You're right. It's my fault for trying to control the way you live your life. But why? Hunter warrior of all things. In the battle against the mutants, Gali was unconsciously using Panzerkunst. She may have lost her memory, but she may have battle blood in her veins. It's called fate, isn't it? I want to kick ass. He will let me kick ass.
way she hops is just like, it's awkward. should open up. No, it doesn't. That doesn't open it up. Do I have to talk to Ido? I have to make peace with him? Or perhaps I would have to go to the... The place where we dare not look. You know, the basement. I gotta say, in order to get somewhere in this game, you gotta go here, 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 here. It won't open. Why do we need to unlock this place up? I does not see her because I got it, but what's in here? And I doubt I'm going to, like, nothing but oh to play the whole entire game like that I don't you idiot I, I'm going to become a hunter warrior no matter what because a life without a life of nothing but happiness just doesn't feel real Factory first. In order to track down a bounty as a hunter, you would have to first register as a hunter warrior at the factory. Tell me about the factory. What's the factory anyway? Scrap girls unmanned system that control the production of food. Scrap girls unmanned systems that control the production of food. It is 
industrial products that are processed to be sent to parts. Well, generally speaking, they connect to fires to the ground. The building where the factory to Mooring Center is located is called the factory. There's a building called Factory 33 around here, that, so that's where you should go first. All the factory's operations are performed by special cyborg units called Deckmen and Netmen, which are devices and not a single human being. Since they also serve as the interpersonal interface, they'll be the ones to register you as a hunter. Uh, if you go to the factory, I'm sure you'll find Netmen soon enough. Dickman usually hides in the cylinder. He can't be seen, so you have to call for him yourself. Still, it's a girl like you capable of being a hunter warrior. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. To cast him is my real test. To beat him is my cause. This is Factory 33. Know that the scrapyard says... Know that the scrapyard citizens will be handled by the Deckman. Interpersonal interface. Deckman. Deckman! Oh, the Deckman should be waiting in the cylinder rooms to the left and right of this corridor, respectfully. Press the circle button on the cylinder that contains the Deckman and performs the desired task. The Deckman in charge will appear, so tell him what you want. First, I'm going to register to become a hunter warrior. I can ask the deck man in the room to the left, or right? Yes, to the left, right. To the right, left. At cellular 2, you'll be able to cash in your bounty. However, non hunter warriors are now allowed to use the service. You can register for Hunter Warrior at Cylinder 3. Thank you. Can I help you? Here we are accepting registration for Hunter Warriors. Do you want to register as a Hunter Warrior? I'll ask to sign up for Hunter Warrior. Then we're going to register you. Please, stand over there. We're going to burn the identification barcode onto your brain with a laser, so don't move. On the brain? I don't want my brain to get burned. Oh no, we're not going to damage the neurons. All we have to do is mark the cytoplasm cytopl with the hunter's mark. Fingerprints, voice prints, and retinal pat patterns are not useful for identification against cyborgs, so we use this method. Well, let's get started then. The engraving is done. It's so easy to become a hunter warrior. Registration is complete. The rest depends on your achievements. Why did Baby become a hunter? I feel like I've been asked the same thing a long time ago. Why fight? Or what? Even back then. It's for myself. Now, Baby will be a hunter warrior from now on, hunting bounties. I'll explain what precautions you have to take. First of all, we must never forget that the people Baby is dealing with are heinous criminals who will be on the bounty list. 
That's why you shouldn't approach the bounty unprotected. When confronting the criminal, you must immediately shift from normal to battle mode to get ready for battle. Otherwise, you'll just get hit one way without being able to attack your opponent at all. By the way, you can switch to battle mode by pressing select. Baby, let's practice selecting battle mode. Three, two, one. No! Go! That's it. You can also use select to unlock battle mode and return to normal mode. Let's give it a shot. Three, two, one. Go! That's it. Remember all of this so you will not be confused in battle. Also, try to switch modes as quickly as possible. This is because if you don't switch modes fast, you'll be caught by surprise many times. That's about it for the combat mode switching. Next, I'd like to explain the six cylinders inside Factory 33. Baby has registered as a Hunter Warrior is now able to receive support from the Factory. The deck may in the six cylinders here and in the room across the hall will each be backing up Baby. To give you a rough idea, Cylinder 1 is for saving, Cylinder 2 is for caching your bounties, Cylinder 4 is supplying items, Cylinder 5 is supplying weapons, and Cylinder 6 is for repairing your body. Each of these will be handled by the deckman in charge. For more information, please ask the deckman in charge directly. Incidentally, the work of this third cylinder is to register as a hunter warrior and to complete the results of the battle. It is the job of compiling the total number of enemies that Baby has defeated so far by type and reporting back to Baby. It may not be very useful, but it might be a good but it might be good to check it out once in a while. On the other hand, I have to say, I am relatively cheerful, unlike the other bureaucratic cylinder deckmen. So when you come here, you can enjoy chatting with me. There may be important information in contained in our conversation, so please come and talk to us often. That's pretty much everything this way. Now I want you to start chasing the criminals with all your might. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you. As you can see from the bounty list displayed by Netman, the higher the amount of reward money, the more difficult the opponent is to deal with. The one that has the highest amount of money is the is at the moment the one called Makaku. This guy, he's an unheard of criminal who's been killing people for the purpose of eating their brains. Oh, he's a zombie. A lot of civilians killed by Maraku, Makaku included a lot of factory workers, so he was put on the bounty list a long time ago. But unfortunately, he's still out there running wild. I hope that baby will be able to accumulate a track record as a hunter warrior soon and be able to capture a big fish like this. Well then, I hope you'll come here again if anything happens to you. Wishing you all the best and good luck, baby. You must know that Hunter Warriors is the one who has the duty and right to kill the bounty. Therefore, Hunter Warriors should hunt down the criminals as soon as he finds them. Whenever you kill a bounty and complete the mission, you must report to the factory and receive a chip equal to the amount of your reward money. So, if we're dead. Select is actually used for something other than, you know, what it usually is for. Nothing.
like I said, I'm what? In the back of my head, I'm thinking of Robot Carnival because it had that kind of music. Ido went out to the streets just now to look for you, Kelly. By the way, Ido tells me you've already registered as a hunter warrior, haven't you? Actually, I don't mean to tell you how to live your life, Kelly, but Ido's so worried about you. You can't help it. If you can, you should be able to understand Ido's concern. go in the corner. She wants to kick ass and chew bubblegum and she has both. She has the name and right to kick ass. <laughs> Not uncommon in scrapyard. His body, it's a little weird. The brain, being plucked out. I got a, I got ready with my finger on the trigger. We're getting our spare share of action now. Thank <laughs> you. 
could this be the guy called Makaku? You're Makaku? <laughs> Calm down. Believe in your strong inner self. Are you okay? Her skull's cracked. This is dangerous. I got to give her medical treatment. And yet, she's reckless. This body wasn't designed for combat. And now she's suddenly dealing with a monster like this. What the? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh oh! I beat you. After all that damage, I didn't think you'd be able to get back up. Hey, this is not just a cyborg. What's the. Whoever it is, you can't stop a Gaku from breathing. <laughs> Damn, that hurt. Brains. I have to eat brains. Damn it. List. But none of that, but none of the hunters were willing to touch him. Mokaku is... What the... Gali! Well, I guess you hit a little too big a target for your first job. <laughs> Maybe you're just out of luck. Damn it. Gali, I won't let you rot here. 
I will not feed you to that monster. <laughs> you, I need to fix you up. Power thrusting me far? Where does it come from? Inside of me, another me struggling to break free. Faster. If I fly faster, I can almost see the answer. This is not Persona, dear. Huh? She's awake. Gaddy. Well, how is it, Gaddy? Huh? Huh? My new body. Does it feel strange? That's a lot faster. Dicycle. It might not look as good as the last one, but it's a warrior's body. This body can heat air inhaled into it to high temperatures using arc dischargers and then spray it from the fingertips as plasma gas. If you use plasma jets at over 15,000 degrees you can do considerable damage even if, the, even if the enemy has a pretty sturdy body. Apply a strong magnetic field to your plasma to accelerate your fists and increase your attack. In practical terms, you can use a you can use plasma techniques by pressing triangle during battle. There seem to be many types of plasma techniques, which vary according to the situation faced in battle. So you should try lots of different things in the middle of an actual battle. But I can't say this will be enough to defeat Makaku. Got it. More importantly, I don't. Did you get hurt? That big-headed guy beat you up, right? Makaku, whatever his name is. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> How can you be so carefree? You're lucky you just bled out a lot without scratching your vital organs. But one wrong move and those quack doctors would have made a cyborg out of you. I'm grateful, Gonzo. Really. It's nothing you should worry about, Gary. Makaku. Also sure to come kill Gally and me. But I have an idea. We'll call on the other hunter warriors in town for help. The shuttle minister strength. There's a bar called Kansas within the selectable range of the world map. To hang out for hunter warriors with turfs around here. After you've rested, let's go there together. When you're ready to go out, please call for me. Got it? Got it. When I'm ready, I'll call for you. But more importantly, Makaku did such a thing to Aiko. Gali will forgive you, bastard. The next time we meet, I'll completely destroy you. Hey, calm down. You don't have to get so heated. Right away, that guy is going to put, a, put an end to things with us. But he was damaged in battle the other day, so I don't think he'll be able to attack us anytime soon. I need to use this opportunity to gather our friends in Kansas and prepare for a counterattack. Do you understand? So, Gally, you should rest a bit for now. I don't. Mr. Gunsu, aren't you exhausted from the long surgery? Please rest well. That was surprising. I was expecting that guy to say something like that. I wonder if Wang the Berserker body started to affect her mind. She seems to grow up a little. The Berserker's body? So that's what was sleeping in your collection room. I found it several years ago in a ravine to the west. At the bottom of the ravine, I discovered a spaceship. It was the first time I ever seen a spaceship, but I soon realized that it was built for battle. Long ago, there was once a war in space. Anime, y'all. I 
found the Berserker body in the remains of that ship. It was a work of art created with advanced technology and craftsmanship that has been since lost. I was fascinated and brought it back here. But as I studied structure, I realized that this body was designed for the sole purpose of turning a human being into an efficient weapon. Uh, it looks like the combat armor from Rent a Hero. <laughs> I realized it was made as a murder weapon. The Ninja Warriors are immortal murder machines. They say that in this form of war, healthy living soldiers were remade into berserkers and sent into battle. Universal Soldier? I could not forgive the act of turning humans into tools of war and lock that body away here. So, I gave it to her. <laughs> but, but you still made up your mind to attach this to Gotti? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But one thing's clear. Gotti knows how to use power. All I can do now is give her that power. Of course, I'm gonna play this on my own time. But man, a lie. <laughs> sure, it took a while just to get into get into this little combat. So I think. That should do it for this episode of the Chess of Obscurity. I don't apologize for saying I don't know much of the story. Because I never read all the story. I've only saw the anime once. But there are like 12 volumes of it. Like I said, there's some, some games that will want me to just get into the habit of reading the story behind it. But that's not our here nor there. But that'll do it for this episode of the Chest of Obscurity. Coming to May edition. So until next time with whatever else I have on hand. I've been your I've been your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi, Izzy, and this one to look at. Gunam Martian Memory. So, I'll see you next time for more great content. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, as well as follow me on Twitch, as well as on, um, if you're interested, on Twitter as well. Most likely, I may put this up on Instagram, I don't know. That depends on how I feel. But anyway, until next time, take care everybody.